it is crazy windy. Oh my goodness. You guys see that? It's raining and all stormy and garbage. So dudes, so RIP me, um, my last video, I must have just hit the touch screen on the back of the A6500 and then it turns into like spot, fo spot focus. So everything was in focus behind me, but I wasn't, so that's, that's sick. Um, I just want to make a quick update for you guys, uh, what happened this weekend. I sold the RS last week, shout out Zach. Uh, Zach came from Fargo, North Dakota. I hope you're enjoying the car, buddy, if you see this. Um, Spencer from Sea Boys was with him and I, we got to talk to him. It was cool to meet him actually. Um, it was cool to meet all of you guys that came with. Um, watch out for the Digi Camo RS on the Sea Boys TV channel. Uh, if you haven't seen them, uh, check them out. They're local to Minnesota and they do a bunch of hood rat shit. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch those guys. But today I wanted to uh, talk about what I replaced the RS with, kind of why I did that and what you can expect to see from the channel in the future. So here's what I got. I got a 2019 Volkswagen R-Line Jetta. This is the first year that they did an R-Line Jetta. So black mirrors, black grill, that black piece and a huge sunroof, black shark fin antenna deal. Um, eight speed auto, 1.4 turbo, very small engine, but we'll go into that in a little bit. Um, so why I sold the RS? The RS, although it was a really, really, really fun car, absolutely bonkers fun car. It just didn't fit me practically right now. Um, it had a small interior. It didn't get that great of gas mileage. It required premium, um, amongst other things. And they did, those things didn't really outweigh um, how fun the car was, right? This is way bigger. Um, in the RS, I couldn't even fit my golf clubs in the back without, without folding seats down. So this has a way bigger trunk, way bigger interior, smaller engine, but it gets, I took this thing to Brainerd this past weekend was Proving Grounds. If you haven't heard of Proving Grounds, check it out. Um, you can search it on Facebook or, or even like maperformance.com or it's on the Brainerd website, the BIR Racing, uh, or the Brainerd International Raceway website. So I took this up there and it got 45 miles to the gallon there and back. I get over 500 miles to a tank in this and it doesn't require premium. It's cheaper on insurance, the payment's cheaper, it's cheaper to maintain. It was just all in an easier or an easy decision for me right now. I still have the Evo. More content coming on that soon. I literally lost like all of, well I shouldn't say all, but I lost a lot of bolts. I don't know how, there's none on the floor. They literally grew legs and, and left. So I've got bolts and stuff coming for that. So we'll get working on that. Evo content coming soon. Um, I'm gonna be hanging on to that car for at least a little bit. I'm still having, it's kind of up in the air what we're doing with that car. Um, first mods, and I say mods lightly because I don't call window tint and clear bra modifications but dropping this car off tomorrow for some window tint and a clear bra clear bra is that is that like expel film they put on the front of the, your front clip of your car to prevent rock chips and stuff um so we're doing that dropping it off tomorrow um the rs had window tint on and i absolutely loved it and a couple of my old cars had window tint and i i, I enjoy it um gun stuff um, I picked up a Smith & Wesson m and I haven't made a video on. I still haven't sighted in my Savage 338 Lapua. Um, I've shot my CZ shotgun, semi-auto shotgun that I picked up. Um, just waiting on some holsters. Uh, I only run Quick Violent Over after I discovered those guys from Talon Sai, actually. And I message Roger all the time and, and uh, I enjoy that company very, very much. I have one of them right now, um, like in my Glock 19 inside. Um, so more gun content coming up, more Evo content coming up, and if you guys care, more R-Line Jetta content coming up. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping in. I, like I said, I just wanted to make a quick update about what was going on with the channel, what's to come. I'm super lazy at making videos, that's why I can't say new videos every week, because then I don't, and like today was really shitty. I didn't even know if I was gonna make a video because I'm just sitting here walking around in the shop, but I wanted to get one out for, to you guys so you know what's going on. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, like the video, help me out. It really helps me out. Uh, check out some links in the description. I don't know if I have any uh, if, uh, my gear stuff in there, but uh, check it out. 
and browse some other videos on the channel. You know, I only, I've only only got a few out there, but i um, really just trying to grow my channel and the subscriber base. Check out my Instagram at Bryce Lippin, and uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.